Here are 50 random facts about Clash of Clans episode 11. <laughs> it's about that time again. As usual, the previous episodes will be linked down below and also at the end of the video in case you want to check those out. There's quite a bit of those. Anyways, let's get right into it. Let's do this. The laughing ghost effect on the poison was actually a temporary effect added to the poison during Halloween 2015. But Halloween came and went and they never removed it. It's still like that to this day. Here is how it originally looked. <laughs> The portal in the Egypt scenery seems to be inspired by a movie called Stargate from 1994 where an interstellar portal is open and on the other side is an ancient Egypt looking world. The angry jelly hero pet is most likely inspired by an old hero pet concept of a squid that heroes wore like a hat. However, the mechanics of the original squid were more similar to the phoenix where it resurrected the hero. If you look closely, each workshop level has a blueprint out front of what it unlocks. In the Dragon Palace scenery, a couple of shipwrecks can be seen throughout the map. Now, at first glance, these may look like random shipwrecks, but they're actually the village boats that take you to the builder base from different sceneries. The summer one can be found in the bottom right corner and the magic theater one can be spotted in the top right. If the Grand Warden has no target, it will throw its fireball to a corner out of the map. Builders will follow where you drag the hut and sometimes it can be pretty funny. <laughs> In March 2016, the Valkyrie sound was replaced with an updated version that they had made for Clash Royale. According to a Clash Royale YouTube short, the Tesla building and lightning spell were invented by the Electro Wizard. In the War Arena scenery, if you stare long enough into this door in the bottom, you'll see eyes of a creature staring back at you. If all your builders are busy and you try to start an upgrade right as one finishes, the game will ask you to pay zero gems. For some reason, villagers can only be seen sleeping in the builder base. It's believed that they do so in the home village as well, but inside the town hall where we can't see them. Holding any builder base troop or hero during an attack will highlight them purple. This makes it easier to spot them. You may have noticed the Egypt Warden doesn't have a book. Instead, he has a weird looking symbol. That is the Egyptian symbol of life, which correlates with the Grand Warden as he's a support hero that usually gives life or whatever. <laughs> In March 2016, Supercell uploaded a video titled 100 Million Thank Yous, where they thank all their players around the world for playing their games. In one of the slides, they claim that our games were played in every country except for Tuvalu. Interestingly enough though, just two days after the video, the CEO tweeted that they now had 10 players from the country of Tuvalu. The mossy looking rock in the classy construct scenery is actually the barbarian statue from the builder base, but overgrown. The original inspiration for the art direction in Clash of Clans was inspired by old SNES and arcade games such as Advance Wars and Gauntlet. For some odd reason, there are two builders and their huts in the Fort Knobs Goblin map. A level 1 king with a max level vamp stash can take out an unsupported Town Hall 16 Giga Inferno by itself. The 2014 Christmas tree was the only one that could spawn presents, and some players still have them today, even 10 years later. Fortunately, unlike other presents in the game, these only disappear individually, so tapping just one will not make them all disappear. Super Troops, part of a special event, make a stop at the Super Ice Bath first before going to your camp. As you know, Lassie is kind of just like a P.E.K.K.A looking dog or a dog looking P.E.K.K.A, <laughs> whatever makes more sense. But did you know it was going to be a real dog? In concept sketches of the first four pets unlocked at Tahoe 14, all of them look the same except for Lassie, which is a real dog. In the goblin map Magic Practice, there are shrink traps surrounding the walls, which was a temporary trap available in 2017. In the year of 2023, Clash of Clans had the most loading screens. Every year prior had an average of about 5, but 2023 had 17. This is due to the current loading screen now being attached to the season or scenery. 
Whereas before, this was never really the case. You can only friendly attack your own clan districts a maximum of 25 times. <laughs> <laughs> Keyword only. In the Egypt scenery, Shelly, a character from Brawl Stars, can be seen peeking out into the Clash world. This also may or may not be a reference to Squad Busters, which was announced to be soft launching soon, around the same time the scenery came out. In that game, characters from different Supercell games are spawned using a chest with a portal. For some reason, in the change name screen, a white dot appears in the lower right corner of it. The summer set was teased a month prior in the Clash Royale scenery. A donut floaty can be seen in the bottom, which can be seen all throughout the summer scenery. It's also the donut the warden is holding. The bats, lava pups, and ice pups all share the same death sound. The Super Barbarian is almost exactly the same as an Evolved Barbarian in Clash Royale, the only major difference being the headband and belt buckle shape and the colors. Based on statistics of more than 400 million active players, 71% of players are in a clan that only have between 1 to 5 members. On a similar note, the most populated trophy league is Crystal 3. In contrast, the least populated is Bronze 3. In the re-engagement attack after being inactive for 35 days, any reinforced recall spells do not work. Any troop recalled will simply not show up in the deployment bar. You'll basically lose those troops. <laughs> If you were a Builder Hall 5 before the Builder Base 2.0 update, you could exceed the limit of resource collectors and storages as after the update, Builder Hall 5 contained less of those buildings. The Town Hall weapon has the highest impact on your war weight, which is used in regular Clan War matchmaking to determine where you rank and the most suitable matchup. If a super minion targets a miner as it digs underground, its shot will travel an insane distance until the miner pops back up again. This is not unique to the miner though, just about any troop that travels really fast will trigger this anomaly. The reason the level 1 dragon is green is because the baby dragon grew into a dragon and the baby dragon is green. According to a 2022 interview with the CEO of Supercell, he said that the reason Clash of Clans took so long to come out for Android was because they saw the game as incomplete at the time. They wanted to polish it before releasing it on other platforms. And because iOS had the smaller platform at the time, it made sense to release just on iOS. Town Hall 16 used to have a single star for its only level, like other weapons, however it was quietly removed one update. The Apprentice Warden's Slingshot is simply a repurposed staff. This can be seen in his launch trailer where his staff breaks and he picks up a strap off the ground to create the slingshot he wields. This is an unarmed tornado trap, it's easy to miss among the sea of other unarmed traps since you only have one. And I just wanted to include it for maybe the one person who hasn't seen it. <laughs> As you know, the skeleton spell has shielded skeletons, like the guards in Clash Royale. However, they are nothing alike. In Clash Royale, they simply drop their shields and continue as skeletons. But in Clash of Clans, that's not what happens. Instead, when the shieldless skeletons die, a regular one then spawns in its place. Basically, the spell is designed to spawn two kinds of skeletons. In the Angry Babies practice raid, if done correctly, you can queen walk the entire base without ever dropping the troops the tutorial was based on. <laughs> Even though the goblin's artwork has been redesigned multiple times throughout the years, a level 1 goblin in the field still resembles its original 2012 artwork. It's one of those troops that has never really been updated outside of new levels. The most popular or most used non-default equipment for the king is Earthquake Boots, Giant Arrow for the Queen, Rage Dam for the Warden, and Hog Rider Puppet for the Royal Champion. The original Clan Castle music is about 7 seconds shorter than what you hear in the game. This is because the game slows it down and lowers the pitch for actual gameplay. This is the original.
Nowadays, it's hard to find a scenery with a middle marker. Fun fact though, it was added in early 2013 and its original purpose was to give you a starting point so that when you built out the base, you didn't accidentally make it too far one direction and have to start over. That would have been a mistake that could have set you back 30 or 60 minutes. However, over the years, the middle marker started to become completely forgotten with the layout editor and the tools within it. And it only seems to remain in some sceneries, mostly the ones that still have grass. Despite the wizard tower having the same attack speed at all levels, the travel time of the shot is much slower at lower levels. However, this doesn't mean they get in less shots. In the end, they're both shooting the same amount of shots in the same amount of time. It is simply the speed of the shot and how long it takes to get to its target. For some reason, the stars above a already attacked base in wars are tappable. The collection animation from resource collectors is not the same every time. They cycle a few different effects. I don't know why you'd ever need to know that, but <laughs> I guess now you know. So guys, that wraps it up. Those are 50 random facts and random they are. Episode 11 though, God. To think episode 4 was the last episode was probably the funniest thing I ever said in regard to this series. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying so far. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a gaming out. Peace!